Hi everybody, Ben here from Atlas Ordinary. So tonight I'm going to do a swipe, but this one is uh, a Julie Cuts paper towel swipe, and I'm going to try that one because I quite like it, and I want to see if I get similar effects with mine. Because um, I use some, so the brand of paints are the same, but I use different glues, I use different pouring medium, and I use a different silicon. So I'm hoping that I can get a similar effect with it. So I have some, now which blue is this one? This one is cerulean blue, that one is deep cyan, and that one is phalo blue. Now, my pouring medium is my normal 70% glue, 30% water, Elmer's clear glue, sorry. <clears throat> I mixed them, one part paint, so I used 50 grams paint, 50 grams pouring medium, and then I added 10 grams water. And with the white, I did 20 grams paint, 40 grams pouring medium, and 5 grams water. So I'm hoping my consistencies are pretty good. Um, it's hard to know till you do it and you practice, because my pouring medium is actually, using the clear glue compared to Elmer's glue all, is actually a little bit different. Um, it's, uh, the consistency of them is different. So I've, I've always used a clear glue because the, the um, glue wall, I have not actually been able to find that easily here for myself. Um, I, I know I have seen it at Spotlight, but I just don't get very, there's not a lot in there. Um, there's only, I can only find small bottles and it's a, more, a lot more expensive. So I use the clear glue. So we are going to just pour this on in random swirls make sure you get some on the edges as well so I have decided to go dark blue light blue medium blue So there's the dark, here's the lighter one, don't want to cover up too much of the, the other blue there, so I'm trying to pour it into the, the blank spaces of the bare canvas more than over the top of the other blue. So it feels relatively thin, and the blues don't have any silicon in them. I'm going to put silicon in the white. I haven't done it yet. I'm going to put it in just before I start tilting. And again, I don't know if I've got too much paint, not enough, I, I don't think I've got not enough. I'm not sure if I've got too much. I don't think so, but <clears throat> again, practice helps you learn whether you have or have not. Um, I'm going to have to pause the video because I have, I forgot I ran out of gloves. I have to go get some more gloves. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I have misplaced my gloves, so we will do it without it, and I'll just have blue hands for a little while. Blue is always the worst colour for it. I have so much trouble getting this off my hands. I am going to use my corner catcher though. So maybe I'm going to go, I always seem to do, when I use a corner catcher, I, a creature of habit a little bit. So I'm going to go the direction I always go, that's uh, in the corner, come back, take off. Now I'm going to bring
bring it down. You don't have to, I just don't want to lose too much of the paint. In the corner, come back. There we go. Just makes it a little bit easier for me to do it this way. So I just don't lose too much of my paint. Last corner to go. Fantastic. All right, now I'm just gonna bring the paint to where it's even in the middle. There we go. Just gonna double check that every spot is actually covered over the sides because they won't get much on them when you're doing a swipe. So just run my finger on the underside where you would normally scrape and just make sure they've got paint on it. Now clean my hands. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. The blue never comes off very easily, but that's absolutely fine. Now, I am going to use my Helmar Silicon going to put the Helmar silicon into the white. I am going to use um, probably two drops. No, actually I'll do three. So Helmar silicon oil is this one. Put three drops in and I'm going to stir it really really well. Not just a little bit but super stirring it in. Scrape my sides and give it another little stir. Now, there's no silicon in this artwork here, so I will give it a quick torch. I may. Where is my torch? Uh, I've been so busy organizing my art room and I've moved that much stuff into it that I keep misplacing things because. I filled the art room up and I ended up having so much art in there that I actually can't fit in there to do the art now. So I'm having to reorganize it a little bit so I can actually fit in there with my art, not just all my art supplies. <clears throat> it's my smallest um, spare room of the house. so. of them didn't want to pop. Oh well, that doesn't matter, I'm not going to bother. So, I have a container, I have my stirred silicon white and I'm going to pour some into there. I have also cut my paper towels, but I've cut mine a lot thinner. So I've got ample amount of paper towels here. So this is the first time I've done this, so please understand if it doesn't work out precisely the way I would like it to. 
So I've dipped it in the paper towel. No drips are coming off. And I'm going to slide it across. That was a little bit wonky, wasn't it? Oh well. So I'm not going to reuse these paper towels because if I do, I'm going to get, see how I've got these grooves? If I reuse it, and cut, if I cut it and reuse it, it will be a straight line, not a grooved line. And I don't want a straight line, I want nice grooves. So, now I'm going to, and I'm going to do one side than the other. I think that's a little bit easier for me. So place it down and drag it across. So I'm dipping it in a little bit, placing it down, and dragging it across. That's much better. That one spot I didn't go all the way to the very edge, but that doesn't, I'm not going to try to fix it because I will make more of a mess if I did. Each time you do something, you learn more and more as you go. So. That's the fun part of trying something different. So I've seen Julie do a couple of different ones of these, different styles, um, different mixtures, different paints. I like the blue and the white, so I thought I would give it a go. I am getting some little cells popping up see what happens when I torch and I have to behave when I torch this because I don't want to go a bit too crazy and I don't think I'm doing my swipe exactly in the middle either but that's okay. So the reason I cut my paper towels thinner was because I only had a good container that was this wide. So I had to cut the paper towels in half to make them fit the container. We are going to cut this one in half, so it's super thin. And that way there, I can do this edge. And because I skipped a little bit at this side, I'm going to do this edge again. Now, like normal, I have to rotate my canvas so I can do it the other way around. I can't always do things back to front. Actually, I think I am doing it back to front. I am. Oh, no wonder I was having a little bit of difficulty. Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> oh. Today has been... One of those days, I can tell you now. I think my brain has been a little bit on the fritz. So I'm going to put it there and swipe down. And I'm going to try and keep these as straight as possible. I don't really want to do them crooked.
so that was me talking I blew the with my talking I blew the paper towel onto the canvas Okay, we are getting there. I'm liking it so far and we'll see how good it looks once I start to torch. I don't want millions of cells this time either. I want to keep it a little bit... Um, a little bit restrained which that's hard for me I don't always have a lot of restraint sometimes you just have to tell yourself beforehand you got to be on your best behavior and not overdo things. <clears throat> Pardon me. So I'm really liking this so far. My cells are a little bit, some of those cells are coming up a little bit big, but that is okay. It's a little bit wonky on that last swipe. So I ended up getting a container that I can put a lid onto and hopefully use this for another swipe very soon. Nice little airtight container. Um, but if you do do that, just check that it hasn't thickened up as well. So you may have to readjust and just add a tad more water into it just just in case so now I'm going to get the torch out and be super delicate with how much I heat this up So usually you can, sell, you can tell when you're going to get a cell by as soon as you get a little speck. That usually is a cell just about to start growing. So I'm moving on to this side now. I'm going to let those ones there develop. Little bit must have gotten close. Um, where are my 
tweezers. <clears throat> Where's my tweezers? Quickly, quickly. Oh, where have they gone? Here. A little bug just flew in. Right there. Naughty, naughty bug. They fly in and they wiggle around trying to get themselves out and they ruin the artwork. Sometimes it's really hard just to get one or two cells where you want them. Alright, I'm going to stop for a minute. So, my cells are growing really big. So, what this tells me is that my mixture is a little bit thinner. So, I would probably, it's probably because I use a different glue, so I probably should make my mixture not have so much water in it, so then the cells stay a little bit smaller and don't end up clumping up and pushing into each other as much. So these little ones are smaller, they're nicer, I like them, and some of these ones have just grown a little bit big. That is the fun of art. So, I do like this. I like this a lot. I'm <clears throat> just trying to work out. So, I think I will leave my white to thicken up a little bit. And when I make up my colours next time, I won't make them so thin. And I may get the smaller cells. But I still love this. This is pretty cool. So thanks Julie for showing us this technique because um, it's a really interesting way of doing a swipe that's different to the normal way. I think it gives a little bit different um, effects because you kind of get the streaks that come through it plus you get the cells. So I really like this and it was fun actually. It was quite interesting and um, fun to do. I don't want to torture anymore. I'm going to just leave it the way that it is, except I need to scrape the edges. So just get our palette knife, run it underneath, get that excess paint that is going off the edges. Okay, very cool. I'm quite pleased with this, especially for my first attempt. So each, especially the first time you do it, you, you learn from everything. So I've learned I would rather make my mixes a bit thicker. And I also learned that to try to keep my line a little bit straighter so it's not as wonky. But apart from that, I'm, I'm quite happy with how this has turned out. So you're, normally if I was to mix other colours in there, like white in there, the white would change the colours of the other blues. When these blues are staying the colour that they really were, you've got the cerulean blue, you've got the phalo blue, you've got the um, 
deep cyan. So pausing, and there we go. This is the artwork. I am really, really pleased with this. It's interesting as this dries, this will look really cool. But yeah, so just tweak it to what you think is good for yourself. So my tweaking is going to be try and get smaller cells, which means thicken my mixture up a little bit. Because these cells are really cool down here where they're stayed in their shape a bit more. These ones have got a little bit big and pushed into each other. But overall, I am really pleased. So if you like this, let me know what you think. And also if you want to see what inspired me to do this, um, go check out Julie Cutts's um, Pouring Your Heart Out site and see what ones that she creates. But thanks very much everyone. So like, share, comment and subscribe if you have not already. So subscribe and click the bell and hit the all button and it will let you know when new videos come up. Thanks very much. See you next time. Bye.